Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On Point EDC. Today we have a cool little pen uh, combo um, review for you guys from the brand Honey Badger Arsenal. Now, of course, they are an EDC focus maker, um, pretty much machining everything from pens to fidget spinners um, and various other metal keepsakes like bracelets and, and uh, even little uh, brass knucks and whatnot. So, um, a little bit about this type of review and these products, of course, they're custom pens. Some key common characteristics in design language when you're looking for a custom pen, of course, you're going to want a very unique design and you're also going to want to balance it out with that fun, fidgetable action. And then, of course, something with made out of premium materials uh, with a very nice construction. So I think these definitely hit the mark. This is their EDC Bolt Action Pen. And basically, it is, uh, you know, a, a bolt, a, another bolt action pen, guys. But man, uh, there's, so, it's weird that there can be so many variations on uh, such a, you know, very simple thing. But this one does it. Um, uh, you know, as far as technically goes, uh, I will share with you guys that the pen is compatible with the following refills. You get the Pilot G2, which is how this ships. There's a Pilot V5, the Uniball 207 gel, and then also the Pentel uh, Energel. Uh, these actually retail anywhere in between 40 and $75, uh, depending on the material and the finish choices. Essentially, you can get, um, you know, uh, different materials ranging from aluminum, brass, copper, stainless steel, or titanium. You can get it in polished, or you can get it in stone wash. Here, uh, we're actually showcasing a the uh, aluminum stone wash and the copper stone wash, which is really nice because it gives me a really great idea as far as weight goes. You got really uh, the kind of the the two sides of the spectrum, the really lightweight aluminum that's about 17 grams, and then you got uh, the copper that's about 44 grams, guys. Um, so they feel quite different in hand, although aesthetically they are really quite similar. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a closer look. All right, now before we get these in hand, really quick wristwatch check for you guys. This is the Raven Solitude. Um, I just wrapped uh, doing a little series on Raven uh, watches, and of course they actually do make pocket knives, which is pretty cool, um, under the Finch brand. So uh, I thought it was only suiting to feature this gorgeous piece here. Uh, it has this really cool 12 hour travel bezel, so if you need to kind of track multiple time zones really easily, um, you can just kind of scoot your bezel over and uh, it'll give you an idea of what uh, time it is. So. Uh, if you have any questions on this one and while well, it's flopping around on the wrist, whatnot, that's what it is. Also check the channel for uh, the full review. Now, uh, uh, these these pens, guys, um, big shout out to Honey Badger Arsenal for sending these out. Um, really cool uh, and really different. Uh, so while there are a lot of pens now that are kind of squeezing, uh, you know, these bolt action, uh, you know, pens into kind of smaller and smaller silhouettes it's nice to have a very th relatively thin profile um, and then kind of it, to make it different it's actually quite long so it feels more like a traditional pen this one being aluminum though man this thing is light this thing is really really light super nice man i love the fidget action on here as you can see the tail switch is really really quite beautiful it's definitely uh you know function first and fun very function forward um but the the form factor is also quite nice considering it doesn't have a pocket clip so the fact that it doesn't have a pocket clip really makes this uh, much better for something to have uh, at your desk or you know inside your notebooks carriers um or something like that uh, nicely secured because you wouldn't want to lose this bad boy but man this thing is really really nice super simple guys uh you know i haven't even as you can see i still have the little blocker on there because i haven't uh even started writing with these guys um but that's the g2 refill man this thing is really nice really lightweight um so super versatile from that standpoint something you could have at your desk uh, or in your vehicle or something like that oh this guy, the weight that comes off of this is really, really nice. And the action, again, super smooth, ultimately fidgetable, guys. So this is something you can definitely play with a little bit. Uh, I'll tell you what, for my time in the Marine Corps, I had 
uh, quite a few uh, members in my chain of command who really love to click pens um, and I think they would have really loved and enjoyed this one but the nice thing about here is you really get to feel the weight and of course in this community feeling that extra weight is, is really something that is a point of focus because it, it's it's kind of is implied quality because something is solidly built right a mechanical timepiece uh, it's gonna weigh a lot more than uh, you know your typical kind of quartz and uh, that kind of that connection um, when it comes to you know something that's in your hand having some weight to it um of course this doesn't feel weighted by any means um but it just has a really really nice you know heft to it that really just feels and reminds you that this is a premium piece although extremely minimalist right and in, in the finish and whatnot and the design this is a premium good this thing is really nice and the nice thing is you know the highest they'll go up uh, as far as that price range uh you know uh this 45 uh, 40 dollars to 75 bucks so even if you get one of the more exotic materials and you decide to get it polished it's only going to go up to 75 dollars and man whew, i'm really enjoying the action on this again definitely um was one where they were like hey let's make sure that functionally this thing works and then uh this, so they weren't worrying about making this uh actuator here very flat or low profile or anything like that they were like let's make it usable right it's got to do its job it's a bolt action pen let's make sure the action is uh, squared away and then uh as far as where they really went into the sleek form factor that's really more so the body of this pen and again look the nice thing is you can use it any way around and it's really really comfortable because it is longer so with some of these shorter uh, bolt action pens these days you almost got to get right into a sweet spot and kind of arrange and then there's also typically a uh you know um a pocket clip to contend with for as far as where to keep it comfortable but here you just grab it and essentially anywhere up or down this thing anywhere you want to hold it it's going to feel pretty good even if you had some weird reason to to go down this low um it's it's still you can definitely position it and, and whatnot to, to be quite enjoyable for writing and oh man really digging that and i did want to just share this kind of cool kind of off the beaten path option because there are so many um you know bolt action pens out there everything from the super cheap to the super expensive and i think this is a nice kind of little sweet spot because you can get uh of course depending on the materials that you choose you can actually spec this thing down quite a bit um although it is really nice uh, nicely finished and whatnot and, and machined it's not something where they're going out and, and you know ordering uh, 20,000 of these from overseas at really budget prices. This definitely still has that craftsmanship you would expect, um, you know, especially coming out of the Honey Badger arsenal. <laughs> um, so really nice, guys. I'm, I'm digging this one. It's very different. It, it holds a place easily in my, uh, in my collection uh, without, uh, you know, trying to displace anything else. So really cool let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you like the video please do hit like and if you haven't already please do subscribe for more content just like this thanks guys mm -hmm.